Sometimes things just do not go as planned. Uh, you're looking at uh, a rough simulation of a latching turn-on turn-off circuit that I've uh, constructed based uh, on a design I found on the internet. I might link it down below. And uh, in the simulation, uh, this circuit works absolutely beautifully. Uh, so right now, in its present state, uh, this MOSFET here is uh, turned off. Uh, and uh, no current is flowing, the load is just sitting at the 22 volt uh, rail which is powering everything. And when I press this switch, the MOSFET turns on and current starts flowing. And everything's absolutely beautiful. And when I discharge this capacitor, which happens automatically to, through that 5 mega ohm resistor, uh, and then flick the switch again, the, the MOSFET turns off and the load just uh, is no longer active. And uh, it, it's a pretty basic circuit, but uh, oh, woe is me, it's difficult to get to working in real life. Uh, so the theory is uh, that uh, You initially have this capacitor sitting at the rail voltage at both ends, and you use this switch to essentially dump the energy uh, stored in the capacitor through the base of this uh, transistor to ground, uh, turning it on. Uh, that in turn causes current to follow through this resistor, and uh, through the transistor. Uh, causing this resistor to start pulling the base of this transistor to ground, turning it on. Like so. And that latches the circuit since this transistor is then feeding the base of a lower transistor. And uh, in reverse, when you turn the circuit off, you uh, the capacitor has now been charged uh, since the resistor here is connected to the eight bit of the circuit, which has now been turned to ground, and when you flick the switch, that's uh, rather than turning this transistor on, is going to turn it off, which causes the current to stop flowing through the through this resistor, which causes it this resistor to stop pulling to ground, which causes this transistor to turn off, which uh, causes the positive feedback loop to cease and this transistor to remain off through a pull down resistor. And it works great in theory. Uh, there, there's a better description of this circuit in the link I'll post. Uh, I've just modified it to be a bit more power efficient and I've added this extra MOSFET stage to allow it to handle capacitive loading since the original circuit did not. And here is the constructed circuit in all of its non-working glory. Uh, I have not been able to figure out what uh, uh, is wrong between this uh, real-life circuit and the simulator because I started off building this uh, with just uh, identical values uh, as uh, to the components in the um, simulator, but this will not work and it's driving me insane. Uh, I'm just about to put it aside and uh, wait for a brighter day to get back to working at it, or just choose an entirely different route. Uh, what happens with this uh, practical circuit uh, is that it will turn on just fine. It's never had an issue turning on, uh, but turning it off has been just a major mystery. Uh, I ju it just has all these weird issues which I can't even begin to explain. Uh, it's had issues where uh, the gate of the MOSFET will not go down to ground, uh, even though it uh, should very strongly be pulled down to ground by uh, a few of the resistors in the circuit. And it's had issues issues where it'll oscillate if I put some capacitance in there somewhere. And it's had issues where it'll just uh, stop oscillating if I change... Ah, it's, it's just a great big mess and it isn't working. 
Uh, it's also exploded quite a few MOSFETs since I've forgotten to install protective Xena diode since it's running for about 20 something volt. Uh, supply it's uh, just a tad high for the gate of these MOSFETs. Uh, yeah, but anyway, just wanted to make this little quick video because I've been I've been working on this thing for a ridiculous amount of hours, really, uh, and uh, it, it's obviously a part of the Mission C project since uh, the amplifier's live as a test load. And uh, if I, and I can probably just turn the circuit on as it sits, yeah, that'll be good enough. So power on, it's connected to this amplifier and uh, the power LED, as you may or may not be able to see, is off. And I press the little uh, moment for the switch there. And it turns on just fine, we now have a nice red glowing LED. Uh, but if I turn the scope on, uh, we are probing near the uh, base of one of the transistors. I think I think it's actually entirely broken in its current iteration, uh, but we have been able to see yeah, it's broken. It just all kinds of weird shit going on. I'm not even certain if it's doing anything at the uh, gate drive of a MOSFET right now. Let's just try and probe it. Also well probing the gate, turning it back on. Yeah, it's turning the gate on. Yeah, but right now it isn't even trying to turn off. And that's due to <laughs> due to changing a resistor which you really shouldn't have anything to do with it. I've just uh, essentially slightly increased the current running through everything. <sighs> uh, oh well, sometimes things just do not turn out the way you expect them to. But I am certainly going to beat this circuit one day, but that's not going to be today because I've got a TV that needs some attention and that requires the entire workbench and it can't look like that oh, so yeah, there you go blog fucking blog video, cheerio